everyone, it's Miracle Gymnast here and welcome to my first photo shoot vlog. I asked my Instagram followers on my Instagram story not too long ago if they would be interested in watching a photo shoot vlog and a lot of them said they would, so here I am. This past weekend I took some photos of my doll Emma, who is an Elizabeth doll, at this waterfall up by her cabin and let me just say, it was a little bit of an interesting experience. It was my first time taking doll photos at this location, even though I have just taken photos of the waterfall itself in the past, but this is the first time that I brought a doll with me. And this is also my first time shooting in public in quite some time. But yeah, this waterfall is up by our cabin. It's kind of a popular spot, and whenever I got there, there were some people there. And this video footage is not the best because I was just trying to not fall down walking through the forest because, fun fact, I suck at traversing terrain, so I needed my dad's help to get up to the waterfall and even to get down to it, which I'll get to in a second. So the first photos I took were up top. I took them before heading down to the waterfall because there were quite a few people down there. And also, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get even good photos down by the waterfall, so I just wanted to have these in reserve so that I'd still have something to post to AGIG if the photos down at the bottom didn't work out. I just wanted to have some backup, so I did take some photos up top, which I don't plan on posting. Alright, so this really shaky video right here is me actually going down to the waterfall. I had my dad's help. I literally couldn't have made it down there without him. Also, this isn't like a public park. This is kind of just like a natural attraction that people like to go to in the area, so there's no like safety features at all. Literally, we were just walking down this very steep hillside, as everyone else does. The only way to get down there is just to take these paths that people have kind of made over time, and even then, the paths aren't perfect. So, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of scary, and I've been down here before, I've done this before, but each time, it's scary, <laughs> and I need my dad's help, so special thanks to him. Also, Forest Walking 101, if you are in a damp forest, and you see a black rock that is very smooth, do not step on it. You will fall, or you will at least slip, and your life will flash before your eyes. It is very scary, because it has happened to me before too. And the same goes for tree roots. If the tree roots are wet, do not step on them, because they are very slippery too. So yeah, in the future, I plan to not have as bad camera footage, just because I was just more focused on making it down to the waterfall safely. <laughs> than trying to get good footage. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so my dad had this idea to put her on this rock right here, and he held her because it wasn't a flat surface, so she wouldn't have been able to stand anyways. It was kind of like the peak of the rock. So now here I am walking through the water. Also, I'm teaching you guys so much about walking outdoors today. If you're walking through a stream, don't step on the big rocks. You want to step where there are tiny rocks, because the big smooth rocks, those are the slippiest. So if you're walking through a stream and you see a collection of like smaller rocks, step there, not on the big rock, because the big rock will be slippy and you may fall into the water. So you might be wondering what I'm wearing on my feet. I'm wearing my muck boots, which I absolutely love. These are honestly a must in my opinion if you are an outdoor nature photographer because you can go anywhere. I was walking literally through this stream. Anywhere I go in these, my feet will stay dry and whenever I got back to our cabin, I pulled off my boots and my feet were fine, like nothing even happened. Also, obviously not sponsored by Muck Boots because, I mean, just look at my subscriber count. Um, but I mean, if Muck wants to sponsor me, I'll. I'll totally plug them every video just because of how much I love and trust them. So I took some photos on this big flat rock kind of in the center. I was able to stand her up and I'll insert some of the photos. This rock specifically provided me some really great photos and I was able to get some good shots of a couple different poses. I then moved more over to the side, more to like the other side of the stream. I didn't film hiking back up out of the ravine where the waterfall is. It's pretty much the same as walking down, except you're going up, and it's a little bit more strenuous. Also, if you look over to the left, there's an old coke oven, which was something that was used for coal mining. I'll insert a little blurb about it, because this area was once a coal and oil mining area. 
it seems like another great place in this area to get photos, so I'll totally try and get photos there sometime. So hiking out of the area where the waterfall was, it was kind of on like a slight incline. It wasn't very steep, but just enough to get your heart going. So we made it to the road, and then we had to hike back up that road, which was also on a little bit more of a slight incline. But honestly, it sounds like I'm complaining, but I just love this location so much. Even though it's hard to get to and kind of strenuous to hike out of, I always love to come here. And honestly, I would call this a successful photo shoot. I would totally bring another doll back here, especially to go to the Coke ovens. I've been down there myself, but I've never been there with a doll. So who knows, that might be where my next photo adventure takes me. But I'm not in any rush because we'll be coming up to our cabin throughout the summer and I'll have many opportunities to shoot there. So that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first photo shoot vlog. Comment down below if you like this style of video of me narrating the footage afterwards and not talking to the camera as I was recording. I did try that, but I didn't really like the way I was sounding. I feel like I sounded very fake. <laughs> um, I just didn't like the way I was sounding, so I thought that I'd try this, and I personally like this format better, so let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give it a like to let me know that you'd like to see me vlog some more photo shoots. And of course, follow me on AGIG at Doll Pink and Video Network, where I'll be posting all of my favorites from this shoot. And subscribe so you will know whenever I upload my next adventure. Thanks again for watching. Bye!